Hey, how you all doing? Welcome to this Enlight video tutorial. In this Enlight video tutorial, I'm going to show you how to color grade your projects or your video footage. Color grading, we're going to use Tone Lab in Enlight, but other photo editing apps you might use color selection or something along those lines and we're just going to bring those colors out make those certain colors pop color selection color grading is a very individual thing all i would suggest is you keep it minimalistic keep the the adjustments really small and um, and practice often and you'll get it right eventually if you haven't um, if you haven't got experience of it already so so over here in video leap if i've got my timeline selected i have a different tool set along the bottom so what i need to make sure i do to find tone lab is deselect anything that's in my timeline or anything that's in the um, that we've got imported in. and then on the right hand side you'll see tone lab bottom right hand side and all i'm going to do is select tone lab and now i've got this um, adjustment layer along the top that when I mess with the colors, let me change the colors of the image. All I'm going to do is I'm going to select the end, the anchor point, and slide it up just so we can see the differences when we're adding um, or adjusting colors or color grading this, um, this video clip. So all that simply happens, if I select the red tones, now anything that looks a bit red within the image, that's where what we're now going to be editing. So I have three tools pop up after each color I select hue saturation and luminance and the hue saturation and luminance I'm going to the red tones within that I'm going to adjust them right so let me select hue now if I go right to the right hand side it's going to make all the greens pop and take all the reds away um, so if I go to the left it's going to really bring out all the reds or anything with a red sort of um, tone within that image and you can see the fields in the background the field at the front and then especially the dog now my idea for this image is to bring the greens back in the grass a little bit more um, make the dog a little bit darker and then make the sky and the clouds pop a little bit more by using the blues and um, and the luminance within the blues but first let's deal with the reds so all the red tones on the dog i just want to um, just make them pop a little bit more or make them a little bit darker make them a little bit, little bit more prominent so i'm going to drag the hue down just to pull those reds through saturation it's pointless taking any of the saturation away from what I've just done with the reds because I essentially would if I move the saturation down I would be removing those reds and desaturating what I've just done um, and likewise if I move them up all I'm doing is increasing them but I'm also increasing the red tones in the front of the grass that you can see so I'm just going to leave that there for now and then the luminance is just the brightness of those colors so if I um, bring that up to the right hand side the luminance it's going to make all the darker tones that are just made a lot brighter so i want to tone those down so if i bring them down you can see it makes it much darker but i'm not going to go for that much everything within sort of color grading or color selection process should be done in a minimalistic way so don't really go overboard otherwise it just looks a bit cheap looks a bit tacky it doesn't look professional so um, I'll just move them down just a little bit and then I'm going to go back on my toolbar and then I'm going to go for the oranges. Oranges are not too far away from red so we're essentially going to be um, adjusting the same sort of tonal areas on this image in particular. So let's go for the hues and then the oranges. Shall we take them down or take them up? So if we go up we're going to bring the greens back. So I want to just take them down again just, just like the reds but very lot like said minimalistic and then the saturation don't want to remove saturation i'm just removing what i've just done so i'm just going to leave that where it is and then the luminance the brightness i just want to make those colors a little bit darker again but again like i said i don't want to go overboard so i could possibly just um just bring those up a little bit more sort of to minus seven there or thereabouts go back yellows in the tone and again so this is where we're probably going to be able to bring some of the greens back. So these yellow tones in the front of the image, um, if we go up to the right, we're pro like I said, we're going to bring the greens back. And if we go down to the left, it's going to make them all red. So if we want to take the greens away, we would keep it to the left. So it just looks like a sort of um, real dead field that the dog sat in. But we want to bring those greens back a little bit. Now, all we have to be careful of here is in the background, we have got very prominent greens. The trees, the fields are very green. So if we go up too much, they're going to look oversaturated. And we would have to um, mess with those areas individually later. But just for now, I just want to drag the um, the greens in the front of this image up just so we can see them a little bit better. Saturation, do want to 
um, again make that really green but we've got a lot of greens in the background so we're just going to adjust those um, too much and then the luminance do want to make it brighter or do want to make it darker probably make it a little bit darker in this instance selective color color grading tone lab here in this in in video leap is a personal preference you know so it's 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 a bit of what you like so don't be afraid to um just to try the stars all i would suggest is just keep it minimalistic like i said now we go to the, the scions or the blues the blue tones so the scions in the sky you can see on the right hand side over here we've got lots of um, lots of cyans anyway so if we go with a U, hue there it's going to make it purple so any any sort of blue tones that makes purple and if we go left it just brings really brings that that cyan out so all i want to do is just just go a little bit to the right hand side and um, and just just deepen these um, cyan tones saturation again do we want to desaturate them of course not because we just made them we just made them a bit darker so we just want to saturate those tones again and then the luminance you guessed it we're probably going to make them darker here because if we make them brighter it's going to take them away so we want to make them darker and what this helps is when we're messing with these blues especially the luminance if you check the clouds and the darkness on the clouds this is what really makes the clouds pop a little bit um, and you'll see that more so in these blue tones here. So the hue again, we're just going to go purple. If we go right hand side, left, we're going to go more green. So we just want to make these blues um, pop by increasing the hue a little bit and then saturation, pumping up the saturation, it'll bring out the blues just through a little bit more. And then this is where we're going to really make the clouds pop is with the luminance. So if we increase the luminance, it's going to make all the blues brighter. So I want to make them a little bit darker because there are some blues behind those clouds and we make them a little bit darker and that's what it looks like. So that's my selective color done. Now if we use the adjustment layer that we've got on the top, to um if we go off it this is where we started and this is where we're at now so you can see all those colors pop much more than they did without those um that selection process or the color grading um applied to it what you could now go in is go in and adjust the contrast and the brightness and the exposure of the image or of the the video clip just to really fine tune the rest of that um, that color grading process but i hope this helps you out I hope tone lab like i said it's just a slow process learning color grading just takes a while with with any but if you've got experience with um, photography color grading then you'll have the same sort of experience using this tone map here so hope this helps you thanks a lot for watching take care and i'll catch you all very soon bye